Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Sierra and I garden outside in Ohio Zone 5B and I also keep over 200 houseplants inside. Today's video is a houseplant video and I just want to share with you guys um, me taking care of my plants indoors for winter. I bought some new grow lights that I want to get set up and then I also want to rearrange my um, Ikea plant shelf um, and then probably take you guys around this room a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like in here. It's not perfect, it's kind of messy, but let's just go ahead and get started. So this is gonna be my main area that I'm working on. Um, I've already taken a bunch of plants off the shelves and I've got one grow light that burnt out that I need to replace. So here's the idea is I'm gonna do this, down two more shelves, and then it's this grow light here that I need to remove, and it's stuck on pretty good, um, which is a good thing, but it is peelable, so I am able to get it off. So that's what I'm gonna be working on, taking everything off of the shelves, cleaning the shelves, and then putting my new grow lights um, back up and then putting plants back up there. So that's that will probably take up most of the video, but let's just do a 360 around this room. There's my whole house humidifier. If you guys need a humidifier, I suggest getting one of these. However, they can be pricey. Um, I actually got this one for a dollar from an auction, but in store they can be well over a hundred. So um, definitely search for something used, maybe on Craigslist, before you take the plunge to buy one brand new. So just panning this room. All of the plants in here are doing pretty good. I did have a thrips outbreak that I was able to kind of manage but yeah everything's looking pretty good and then that's where I filmed the intro right there we're just kind of getting ready for Christmas and so things are shuffled around um, eventually I want to get some grow light strips to go under this mantle here and then I uh, can put plants down here. And then I would also love to get some lights that hook up that I can like install right here on that side and on that side. And let me back up so I can show you. Oops. Some lights that would, you know, go here and here. And then I can put some taller plants flanking the fireplace. And I think that would look really cool. So here are the grow lights that I bought recently. I got these from Amazon, I'll link them. So they basically just flat strips and you can either mount them on with screws or you can use um, the adhesive tape. So because I am sticking them to glass, I'm not gonna be able to use any screws. I don't wanna use any screws, but even if the ones that I get for the fireplace, I'm still gonna use the tape with those as well. I'm not gonna um, screw anything in because since the first, since the other grow light burnt out, it burnt out in like probably six months and I do run them like constantly. Like I always forget to turn them off. They never really get turned off so I'm not, all the way surprised that that happened but it is unfortunate and annoying so I got two more boxes and hopefully this will be plenty of light for my plants this winter with also having the light from this window so they should be good light plus the humidity I think they'll be pretty good in this room over winter winters can be very harsh inside our home so um, adding extra humidity, adding extra grow lights will help you get through the winter. Um, there's always plant loss over winter. I experience it. Everyone experiences it. So don't worry if you lose something during the winter months. It happens to everyone. And then also just a, a little note too is if you have alocasias 
or you know another type of plant some plants do go dormant and a lot of times the alocasias they have this uh, bulb under the soil and they will go dormant sometimes and they're not dead even if all of the foliage is dead um, that plant could still have life in it it's just like um, like this here this is an elephant ear it's got two leaves and should it die back I won't trash it I will just let it go dormant for a while not water it and just wait to water it next year and see if it wakes up this is my first year having a plant like this inside my house go dormant and let me show you what that plant looks like so this is my alocasia capria and this plant has gone dormant i've been checking the bulb for firmness and by how I do that is just kind of squeezing this upper area, feeling around, making sure the roots are still hanging in there. Um, if you do that and the plant pulls up super easily, it's it's not rooted anymore. Um, if you feel softness, moistness, it's probably dead. So with this, how I'm going to take care of it is basically I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not watering it. I'm not doing anything. It doesn't need any light right now. There's no foliage. And then once, you know, I'm ready to wake this up again, I'll probably wait until February and then try to wake it up unless it wakes up on its own. But it, it doesn't need anything right now. It just needs to sleep. He put himself into dormancy, so I'm just going to leave him and let him stay like that he doesn't have to take up space on the shelves i'll probably probably just stick him in the basement with my elephant ear bulbs i have a couple of elephant ears that are potted just like this that are downstairs um and they're just they're asleep okay so let's get started on working on this shelf because i've i this place has been in disarray for so long and i'm so ready to get it together so let's get started
So the shelf is looking really good. It's all clean. I do have a bit of sticky stuff left, but I don't think that will be a problem with me adhering the new grow lights to this shelf. This was the most stubborn part right there, that one. But yeah, so I've got everything off. I'm leaving the top shelf up there because I did recently um, clean that shelf, but I will probably um, move those plants around a bit. It uh, looks like looks like there's a leaf up there I need to get, but as far as like wiping it down, I've, I'm not gonna do that today. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start getting this the lights on and then we'll get this shelf styled. So it comes with this little package here. You have zip ties and screws if you want to um, screw this into any sort of wood surface. The zip ties are to um, tie the straps down to whatever you're putting it on if you need to. Um, I'm gonna use these zip ties to tie the cords to the shelf, um, to the back pole of the shelf. And then these right here are the double-sided stickies and they are, <sighs> they are short and I actually like them being this small as opposed to the longer strip that I got with the other shelf. So this will be super nice. Um, so let's go ahead and finish putting these guys on. So I've got everything adhered to the top and then to the bottom. Here are my cords. Here's my control. Here's my plug. So I didn't realize that the top light was a more yellow light and then the others were more of a white light. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep, I'm not going to change it. Um, with, if that yellow light does burn out, then I will replace it and get the same um, color light as the bottom. But as of right now, it works. It's fine. No biggie. All right, so now it is time to put the plants back on the shelf.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link the shelf in the description. I do think that um, they no longer make this, but you might be able to find it um, like on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, something like that. Also, I will link the lights in the description. If you have any questions about any of the plants that you saw today, um, let me know. I'm happy to answer those questions. If you would like a tour of this shelf, let me know and I will film that as well. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.